not every video is going to be a home run. Yeah. Not all of them are going to be like funny. You'll look back and you'll probably be like, I'm sure when you started two years ago, some of your videos, you're probably cringing like, oh my God, what was I thinking? Bro, yeah. You know what my I mean? My first video, it was like a little transition. I had mail in my mail truck. And then I was like, let me see if I can just snap this away. <laughs> and I snapped it and it was gone. I was like, what in the hell was I thinking? Like, what in the world was I trying to go with this? How many views did the first video have? Probably like 200, when, 250. When did it, like, you was like, whoa. Do you remember when you looked at a video and went, what just happened here? Yeah, so, like, the first, that first week, so I, I had TikTok for about a month, but I never started posting. I was just scrolling because I'm like, what am I? I'm, I thought TikTok was all dancing that. I'm like, too. I'm not about to get on here and dance. Like, I'm a grown ass man. I'm not about to get up here and shake my ass. Like, yeah. I'm not doing that. So then I started scrolling. I started seeing people do the little skits and how they would lip sync the sounds. And, and I'm like, oh, okay. Like, I see what they're doing. So then my first video that went lightweight viral, it was. 12,000 views that was viral for me i had yeah. 300 followers so i'm like oh it's going up it's going yeah. up so what i did I, um i'm in the bathroom i'm brushing my teeth and i had my wife come in like babe for a million dollars would you be gay for a day i'm like what man gone somewhere and i shut the door well then when i opened the door i threw a dress on i had a purse <laughs> <laughs> i'm like let's go get this paper boo boo <laughs> so that was my first one that went lightweight viral and then Within a month, I had like 10,000 followers. And I'm like, damn, I'm on to something here. Like, it's, I only been on here like a month, and I'm already eligible to get paid for this. And mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, cool. Like, let me just keep grinding. And it, TikTok saved my job because we was, COVID happened, and then everybody quit working. So we only got 44 routes at my station, I think 44, or something like that. And 19 of them were open, meaning they didn't have a mailman to deliver the mail. So mm -hmm. they got to split all that mail amongst all the other 20 workers or whatever yeah. it was. So we was working 12, 13 hours a day, 13 days in a row. Then when we get a Sunday off, then bust another 13. And I'm like, I told my wife, like, I can't do this no more. Like, I'm done. Like, I'll go to Walmart and be a Walmart greeter. I don't need to, I'm getting stressed out. Then I started making them TikTok videos. And because when you're a mailman, you by yourself all day, just walking. Right. <laughs> and it kept my mind off of thinking like, damn, I'm here 12 hours a day. Like, I hate this job. So I would just use, try to use that sound and make it correlate to delivering mail. So like, how can I make this sound relatable to delivering mail? And then I couldn't wait to get home and I just start running. And I'm like, mm -hmm. okay, let me hurry up, sling these bills so I can go make this video. Mm -hmm. And it, it saved my job, bro. It really did. So now it's like, I gotta take a chance on this. Like if it weren't for TikTok, I wouldn't be right here where I am right now. Mm -hmm. so. Is uh the people on your route, is it true like the mailmen get to know your your people on your route? Oh yeah, definitely. Cause you was on the, was you on the same route the yep. whole time? I was on that six years, I was on that route. From the day I started to the day I quit. Do, you, do you, We always hear about the good, was there any houses you dread it? Yeah, oh yeah, hell yeah. There's uh, these apartment buildings. I it, Man, they stink so bad, that's the worst part. There's cats in there, the mattresses, like it's, it's in Price Hill, it's ghetto as hell in Price Hill. So yeah. some parts, but my route, the beginning of it was in East Price Hill. So it's it's nice for over that way. But then it starts getting towards Warsaw and the main streets and all that. And then it gets dicier and I'm like, man, I can't stand these buildings. And then old folks homes. Like, I, don't, I mean, they're, I love old people, don't get me wrong, but they, they're just so blunt. And I'm in the back, you go in this mail room and it's like, you seen Men in Black? You know mm -hmm. how dudes in the back just yeah, yeah, yeah. with the cigarette? <laughs> it's pretty much just like that. And though I hear him on the other side of the wall like, is he done yet? I wish he would hurry up. <laughs> oh, you at, you at the old folks home putting it in their mailbox. Yeah, yeah. So, so I'm they wait the on the private they check, yep. the social security yeah. check. Dude, they would, they would line up like they're at a watering hole just and wait on me. And if I'm late, if mail was heavy that day and I'm late, as soon as I come in, it's packed in the lobby. They're like, <laughs> Where you been, Mr. Mailman? <laughs> and I'm like, I'm sorry, y'all. Mail's heavy today. So it's, it, it was a great job just because the, the personal interaction with people and just the the hospitality. Like, they all love me, man. But I'm a people pleaser. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just, I don't know. I just go above and Did beyond. Did you say bye? Like, 
Yeah. Your last week, was you telling everybody? Everyone that I seen, but a lot of them follow me now, so a lot of them know me. But all the old folks that I know ain't on social media, I went and knocked on their door, hit their little ring doorbell. Well, I was so nice, like, I would hide their package. They would have to call down to the shop, like, uh, I had a package delivered. Like, I know Sean was at work today. Can you ask him where he put it? And they would call me. I'm like, oh, uh, yeah, I rearranged the ports. It's behind the chair. Check behind the cushion. Oh, so anybody would like, steal it? Yeah, bro. Like, I would hide it for, like, really good. And then oh. I would talk in their little doorbell. Like, they ain't at home. I'd be like, hey, y'all, happy Mother's Day. I hope y'all have a good day. <laughs> yeah, bro. Just like, because they, they look out for me. Like, in the yeah. summer, it'd be hot as hell. And they'll give me water, Gatorade, little snacks, chips. Yeah. And then Christmas time, bro, woo, I'm talking bank. Really? They, an extra two, three thousand dollars just from each customer. Like, are they giving you cards and yep, stuff with money in it? Every every house, bro. And then East Price Hill, it's a little nicer neighborhood, so they got money over that way. Yeah. So it'd be fifties, hundreds. One couple gave me four hundred dollars. They gave me birthday presents. They get my kids stuff for every holiday. I, mm. It was bittersweet leaving just because of the connection I had with my yeah. customers. So 